Hey, Rochelle, I am on Desmos.com and I'm going to just click through and demonstrate how to make a graph with your students if you uh, want to use this platform. I'm also checking to see if it's in Clever or not for you. So just click on Graphing Calculator and then you go to the plus button and you're going to get a table. And you can just enter your numbers there. So on the x-axis, we're going to want the angle data. So I'm going to pause the recording and enter that. But basically, I'm just typing in the number uh, and then arrowing down. So I'll pause quick, enter the data, and be right back. So I have entered the data, and none of it appears over here because the scale is too zoomed in. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to click and drag the scale over, and then I'm also going to click the zoom out. And then all of these numbers actually fit over here on the x-axis um, further out of the screen that was zoomed in. So what I want to do is probably change the axis so that the graph will show up. So I click on the little wrench right there, and I see, well, the y-axis goes all the way up to 275. If I made that be maybe 15, and then I made the negative x-axis be maybe negative 10, then it might look a little uh, better on my graph. So there we go. And I would also like to get a line on my graph. So I'm going to click on the green circle. I don't know what color it, if it always starts with green, but you can see that down here there is a line toggle. So once you line, uh, turn the line toggle on, you're going to get a line. And that should give your students a pretty good um, graph to look at and maybe analyze. Then also, if you'd like to put labels on them on the x-axis, you could add a label that might be that was uh, angle. And best practice would be to put what the the label, the title and the label, so angle and degrees, and the y-axis would have been length of shadow in, I suppose, meters, uh, like that. So hopefully that helps. Uh, then when you look at your graph, you've got the angle and you've got the length, and you should be able to uh, print that out and look at it and analyze it and see what kind of pattern you could see. Hopefully that helps. Thanks.